Oh, okay. Side note, I read these in CC voice every time. Are you live on YouTube as well? Yeah, TK. So I go live every Wednesday and Sunday morning on YouTube. I do 10 minutes here. Everybody on the U of the tubes. Yeah. TK, when I say I'm a full-time like streamer, I mean it. I be moving. <laughs> Hi, Adriana. Starts in a few. It's already started. If y'all not on YouTube, you only got 10 minutes till I shut this down. Also. Also, my that I'm back in. TK, just message me. I will answer any question you have. Dang, I want to send in a tea time. What do you mean, send? All right, I will say this. On YouTube, similar to TikTok, there are things over there called super chats and supercharges. I can't stop you over here. I can turn it off on here, but I can't. I can't stop it on YouTube. That's not an option. So live your life. <laughs> Thank you for the likes. Every look at y'all, multiple, multiple places. In Italian way. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kita. I got you. There? Hi, Lorraine. My poor little time. Luna, Sorry, she threw so up a couple of times. Hi, Ren. It is. It's oh, it's getting tangled. Is it like this? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello, it's me. <laughs> is it different? No, it's cute. No, no, I'm. Okay, Juliana said wink wink in Italian way. Do Italians wink in a different way? I was about to say, do they do both eyes or something? Like <laughs> well, that's me and my mom going. Well, to be fair, you also do that with <laughs> pop pop. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Hello, hello. Because I was telling a story. <laughs> he stole it from me. Everyone steals all of your one-liners and hits, I'm telling you. Oh, TK, it's the same as my name. My YouTube is the same as my name on here. Same exact name, one word. Hi, Paige. Eric, how are you? Victor, 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 hello, hello. I hope you ate all time. Good morning, kids. Eight minute go get, listen, go get your drinks. Go get your snacks. We have two emails today. One says, what would Cece do? And the other one is, am I the asshole? First of all, y'all all know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't even know why this is a guess, but we'll read the email anyway. <laughs> no one should. What you wanna do? I mean. I'm curious to know what, th that's the first one I'm reading. Because what do you mean, what would Cece do? Always go to violence first and then and then scale it back. And then you always have, you know what I mean? Just like, walk it, back a little bit. walk it back. And then you'll be like, oh, well, how angry would she be? And then scale it down from there. You know what I mean? Starts at violence and it comes down. You know what I mean? Feels messy. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Don't act like you don't know me. I am messy. It just is what it is. Unfortunately, I feel like even with the up, I feel like you're messy. But even with the utmost amount of therapy, my like reasoning to immediately go to violence, I don't think is ever going to change. I think that's just built in my DNA at this point. It's just Thank you. Thank you. you know what I mean? Thank you. Hi, baby cakes. Hi, pitbull. Muffin. Some people would call me messy. Would y'all call me messy? Am I messy? I don't feel like you're messy. I feel like you are passionate. That is true. Artistic. I would say passionate and violent. <laughs> With a strong sarcasm wing in the back. Like, here's the problem. The problem is y'all think I'm funny when I'm serious. <laughs> like, I want to be like, I would punch someone dead in the face. Y'all be like, ah, oh, and I'm like, 
I wasn't joking. I meant that. I know this. But my sarcasm, y'all think it's hilarious. It be for real. It's actually not sarcasm. Okay. CC. Huh? Passionately violent. Vital? Wait a minute. Passionately violent. And not sound sarcastic. Say it again. Good for you. How can I say good for you without being sarcastic? No, try to say it without sounding sarcastic. Cece, I got laid yesterday. Oh, bitch, how was it? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the line, I was acting. Hi, Tyler. Okay, sorry. Wait, what am I supposed to say again? Good for you. Oh, and I have to say that now. Oh. You have to sound sincere. Gosh. Okay, go ahead. CC, I got laid yesterday. Good for you. <laughs> TK, your first name is Tyler. <laughs> Didn't know that. Welcome, TK. Welcome to Tea Time. And, oh, Tyler, TK, listen. We don't ever have guys submitting stories. If you could submit some tea, of course, it'll be anonymous. I would love to read it. Not one about your wife, though. Because I'll snitch on you. <laughs> Try another one. Try sounds really. I don't ever say anything like that, Simi. I also don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh there's a whole there's a whole list of these that's really difficult. Hi to Melissa. Sound it's hard to sound sincere saying these ones. Um, I'm terrified. Not about your wife though. Not about your wife. Hi Dreamer. How's it going? I don't, I feel like when I'm speaking about something important, it comes off sincere. Here, try these. I'm telling you. Oh, it's God. To sound sincere. Okay. Oh, God. You almost missed it. You didn't miss it, Mona. You didn't miss it. You didn't miss it. Oh, I got to hurry up. I got four minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, my iPod. My iPad is so slow and old and angry. It hates me. So, so much. Okay. Hi, old soul. What are you doing? Got to get more. I, mm -mm, I'm not, um. Hi, old soul. Got to get more. <laughs> First of all, if anyone ever says fascinating to you, it's cat. Like, it's both. It's cat. Sure. it's cat. It's cat. I'll do it. I'll sound so sincere, too. I don't know if that's the issue. That you know how to just turn on your sincerity like this? Maybe. I can be a very good actress, you never know. Let's see. Oh my God, Simi, I hit 10K on TikTok. That's not fascinating. That's not, Bitch. That's not that's What's not fascinating? What, what is something that would be a reason for someone to say fascinating? Good for you. <laughs> oh, Beach. <laughs> I'm so lost over there. What do you mean lost? You just sit in the chat till tea time starts. So like sarcastic, but actually like kuzu kuzu la. In any way that sounds sincere. Okay, I have. Okay, okay. Wow. I've said, you know, no, I can't say that without being like sarcastic. Like, wow. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. At least mine's that. <laughs> Mine's was just like, oh, she's a bitch. Yours is just like, ooh, that, it sounded like it hurt. <laughs> Hi, old soul. Tiana, hello. I can't do that one. I can't. I can't. That's great. Oh, that was, that's great. Oh, have fun. Thanks for that. Oh, damn. At least I tried with my have fun. I felt like I did good. That have fun wasn't bad. That was deep in my fupa. That was coming up. Sounds thrilling. <laughs> my God. Thank you for tapping the hearts on here and the thumbs up, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bruh. Kuzu Kuzu La. What a shame. 
Oh my God. Well done, you. <laughs> oh, wow. That was good. That was good. That oh wow was good. Like, I felt like it was good. That was good. Like, I kind of meant that a little bit. Luna, did you eat your whole tree? She looking at me like, bitch, who are you talking to? Okay, my loves. If you're not with me on YouTube, head on over there. Tea time is about to begin. It's the same as my name. See you guys. Love your face to me. Have so much fun. Oh, Jesus. Help us all. Pray for us. It hurts like it. Just... <laughs> That's better. <laughs> you send me pay? Okay, I Tori is that Tori. That's something I need to read, not on live. Correct? Like, okay, yeah. So everyone, head on over to my YouTube. Like I said, it's the same as my name. We read emails anonymously twice a week on live. Oh, we got. We got stuff coming in as we speak. So yeah, head on over to my YouTube, y'all. I will see you guys later on tonight for battling. I love your face. Peace. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Wait, you like your Bulbasaur? What did I just read, bro ham? Okay, sorry. Y'all know how I, the ADHD is real. Olivia Lee, yeah. you cannot come downstairs until I'm done. Okay. All right. So we don't have those problems. Where's the, come, come say hi to YouTube. Come, come. Come, come. Oh. Oh, are you going to throw up on me? Jesus Christmas. Say hello, you of the tubes. My name is Luna Lovegood, a.k.a. Luna Nuggies, a.k.a. Gwema. Okay. And that one, see the little monstrosity? Where she at? Over there. That's Bella Nuggies. Her real name is Bellatrix Estrange. As you can tell, her mother loves Harry Potter. AKA Bella Nuggies, AKA Little Big Head, AKA Little Big Stupid, Bella. AKA Muppet. Bella, come. Come say hi to the peoples. You're famous. Come. Oh, say hello. Oh, wow. Don't be selling your toe beans on the internet for free. Tell them they got to pay for that. Cover it up. Any hoots. <laughs> All right, let's rock. We're going with what would Cece do? Because the fact that anyone would label their email that clearly wants my attention. <laughs> like I said, y'all should already know what I'm going to do. And if you never not know what I would do, feel free to send them in. I gladly fucking tell you what I would do. <laughs> let's go. Hi, Cece. Hi, Puffs. Enjoy the tea, my loves. Not you telling us to enjoy it straight out the gate. Olivia, bring your tone down expeditiously. You're too loud. Jesus. Here we go. My ex-husband's now ex-girlfriend. Okay. Here we go. We're going to name her... Crystal, Crystal's ex-husband, Greg, and his ex-girlfriend, Samantha. Okay, stay with me. Crystal, Greg, Samantha, let's go. Now ex-girlfriend messaged me and told me he cheated on her. And if I wanted to see the girl he cheated on her with, she will send me the picture but she got mad because all I said was karma. And if she wants to send it or not, I don't care. So Samantha, Samantha, apparently you done, you slept with Crystal's husband. So now you coming to her talk about some, let's have a, a waiting to exhale moment. And, and that's karma because you, you lost them how you took them. 
Hey, hey. My grandmama said you lose them how you get them. Ain't that a bitch? Now that, does that work with being a widow? Because, like, I didn't marry a dead man. Regardless. Listen to what I'm saying. All right, bitch. All right, Samantha. <laughs> mm. All right. She got mad at me, though, for saying it was karma. So she told me that I could find it myself and that it's not her karma because we broke up before they got together. Is that what he told you? Why he was breaking your back? That's what he told you. And you believed him. That's cute. That's real cute, Samantha. It's real cute. You believed him too. That's why it's cute. It's real cute. Because you, yeah. Uh, when he was cheating on you and lying to you, you should have been like, ooh, maybe that mother sucker was doing this to his ex-wife. Nope. Nope. Ooh, common sense isn't common, is it? Shh. All right. All right. She said, I can have him now. Oh, pause, please. Dogs need to go out. Come on, Tiny. Fuzzy one and two. Go, go. Get some sun. Go get some sun. Okay. I know you said, I know. I know she didn't just say you can have him, baby. I had him. Married him, took his last name, and then gave him to you, bitch. Why would I want him back? Is this the new drugs that they got out here in these streets? Because back in my day, the drugs the, the really didn't make people do this. Like, did... Okay. <laughs> All right. I also found out later that this wasn't the first time he cheated on her, but she let it go that time. Whoever this ex-girlfriend is, Samantha, you a jackass. A complete jackass. Just like... My mom, yes, I know we don't have the best relationship sometimes, but I learned to pick and choose my battles, has a deep grudge against my ex-husband because of what he did. To wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lens, I miss your face. Wait a minute. Do Is this, the wait, run with me with this. Are y'all ready? Is this the same girl that the mom knew? that the husband was sleeping with the sister? Who is this? Maybe not, but that's where I felt like it was going. That's, I don't know. I felt like, no, nope, it might be wrong though. She is actually investigating him. Nope, not the same person. Nope, nope, nope. Snooping really to pile evidence to sue him in the Philippines for bigamy. Cause that's, because there's no divorce there, so we are still married on paper. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. So in the Philippines, once you get married, you can't get a divorce unless you sue them? What is... Somebody Google, what is the marriage and divorce rate in the Philippines? Remind me to never get married in the Philippines. Oh, the stress. Ooh, Chile. I can't, mm -mm. can't do it. Can't do it. As much as I would claim 100% that I don't care that there's still a part of me that wants retribution. Uh, bitch, I do too. I want it for you. Fuck. Uh. His current ex has been messaging my mom and she's been giving us all the info on the girl he's been cheating with who is possibly pregnant. They telling the truth? Oh, I hope he's not bringing a baby in this world. He sounds like a heaping hot garbage mess. What kind of tea are we submitting? Oh, hey, Marie, we are submitting stories, all anonymous. Obviously, you just heard I changed the names. Okay, any type of tea you feel the need, you want to tell us, baby. We're going to go ahead and read it. She good. She upstairs, Lids. She is upstairs. Child, she is fine, that one. Okay, come on. She fine. <laughs> She posted their picture on Facebook when she found out he cheated on her and tagged his family on it too. Ooh, 
We love Patty. The girl used my ex ex's wait wait wait. The girl used my ex's phone to message his now ex. I'm not even giving them names no more. Greg got 47 exes and all the exes are calling the other exes and texting the other exes trying to get this man caught up. I'm very confused. Ah! Lens, Lens. Oh, you working from home probably because you've been there so long. You probably don't have to be on site. Tell them I said what's good. And anytime you want to send me an insomnia cookies coupon, I greatly appreciate it. Please and thank you. <laughs> we don't have a site. The site is gone? Bitch, do I need to work for the cookie joint again? Nope. Should I start doing cookie? Oh, my God. I'm going to tell y'all a cookie story. Ha! Huh? Let's keep going. Should I legally scare them a bit or let it go? Because I don't, I didn't care, not really. But now the way the other girl is talking makes me think she doesn't know me. If it's confusing, please let me know so I can clarify. Thank you, Cece. Thank you, Puffs. Love your faces so much. Let me explain something to you. Get up off that man. Now get whatever information you need to let the Philippines give you your freedom from this man. But I promise you, get up, get up, get up off the chain of command of ex-girlfriends of your ex-husband. Cause he crazy. At this point, he got 47 exes that you won't be talking to, sweets. Okay. Oh my God. Operations as a building, but call center is virtual nine years this year. He's a serial cheater. Thank you, Snooks. Lens. I promise you, I'm calling in and I'm asking him to transfer me to you. <laughs> I'm like, give me the lens. I don't want to talk to y'all. Who are you? <laughs> who, who are you? Okay. I had insomnia cookies like two Have I ever told y'all the story on how I worked at a cookie call center? <laughs> I, Liz, I don't know if I should do it. <laughs> Have I <laughs> ever told y'all the story about how a manager, how a, how, oh. How a manager was sleeping with a supervisor while the supervisor had a boyfriend <laughs> and the manager had a girlfriend, but at the same time, the manager was also sleeping with call center reps. I mean, <laughs> did I ever tell y'all the story? <laughs> Wait, but now that there is no call center, I feel like I can tell the T. I I feel like I can tell the T. <laughs> Oh, dogs want to come in. Hold, please. <laughs> come on, one and two. Little baby bandits. Little fuzz fuzz. Okay. So, oh, baby. Oh, oh, damn. Melinda, so many stories. Okay, here we go. There was a manager named. You know what? This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Because it's a lot of names, right? 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 <laughs> oh, shit. It's going to be a lot of names. So we just we just going to say he, she, we're going to say their position and we'll give numbers. How about that? Let's, let's go with that. Okay. We, <laughs> we have manager number one. Okay. Manager number one was sleeping with supervisor number one, okay? Supervisor number one tried her best, I guess that would be considered her best, not to make it known that she was sleeping with manager one. But the problem with that is, ain't nobody dumb. You did nothing all day. You came in late all the time. You did nothing, nothing. Now, keep in mind, Manager one and supervisor one work at the cookie joint. We call it the cookie joint. Cookie call, no, cookie joint. We call it the cookie joint. They worked at the cookie joint well before I got there. Be clear, their relationship 
and and all of that before I got there. Now, I didn't start working for the cookie joint until Livy was sleeping at night. So she was like uh, one and a half or so. When she started sleeping at night, that's when I got the job. Okay. Now, when I went into the cookie joint, I went in as a part-timer. So for a few months, I didn't know who, what, when, where, how, because I wasn't there long. I, like, I wasn't there enough. I was just part-time, happy to not be at my house with a baby, happy to be an adult, making a little bit of coin, being fat, eating cookies. Okay, so be clear, right? The main cookie joint manager, there's one main manager, there's manager one, supervisor one. The main manager, we're going to call him TB. We'll give him a name. TB was the head diggling of that cookie, jo cookie joint, okay? He knew what was going on over there, but he minded his business because he married and he got shit to do, okay? But, he, but, but, but TB badgered me for like three months to become a supervisor and to go full time. So I give in, I give them a schedule that works with, with me and Jay and the baby. I become, start training as a supervisor. Under, she'll probably never see this, Inez. Okay, so I trained under Inez. Now, while I was under Inez in training, we would click, clack, and chit chat. You know what I'm saying? And like, I was getting little droplets, little, it's that salt bay. I was getting little salt bay of little deets. Now, there's other supervisors here, okay? We're going to say E was there. Uh, Mr. P was there already, okay? You had, um, <laughs> I ain't gonna talk no more. We had a bunch of supervisors, okay? Just the rest of them is, is null and void in this, okay? Now, now, now. Manager one was confronted, okay. <laughs> he was reprimanding a representative about their work ethic. That representative decided to go ape shit on his ass in that office and cuss manager one clean out. And what she did say, mind you, although the door was closed, but she was yelling loud enough to hear, was that it ain't like you not sleeping with so and so. It ain't like you not sleeping with so and so. We all know what you be doing in here, manager one. <laughs> Now, mind you, <laughs> now, <laughs> now, mind you, this was so, okay, <laughs> there's so much information. The cookie joint is only busy from the time that college is open in, in like August to before they go on summer break. That is the busiest time for the cookie joint, okay? This was during peak time. So the call center is filled with reps answering all the phones. Okay, the cook, the cookie joint is bumping and this bitch is yelling. And now, so the people who didn't know the T now knows the T, okay? All right, now, it's now out there. Everybody know that manager one is sleeping with supervisor one. Everybody know manager one is sleeping with supervisor one at this point now. It's all over, all over the cookie joint, okay? Everybody know, right? And it solidifies even more why Supervisor One gets away with all the shit she gets away with. Ain't nobody gonna reprimand you, sis. TB is busy keeping shit afloat, you know, fucking handling the big men upstairs. He not worried about what you got going on here because Manager One is supposed to be handling. Well, he's handling it with his peen. <laughs> okay. Let's jump forward a year, shall we? Maybe two years. Let's jump forward a year or two. We got new supervisors. We got new protocols. The, the cookie joint then changed a little bit. Uh, uh, but the setup is very the same, okay? All right. Now, I done been a supervisor for a minute, okay? So now I'm in all the tea, all right? 
<laughs> Someone files a formal complaint on manager one for SH. Okay. <laughs> which which didn't go all the way through because it was talked out and it it was a misunderstanding, right? Later we find out not really because <laughs> outside of work manager 1 is tapping that representative. Not only is he tapping that representative, supervisor 1 didn't know that he was tapping two representatives. At the same damn time. Now, listen, listen, listen. Supervisor one had her own sh going on outside of the cookie joint too now. So she ain't had no reason to be mad, but that made her blood boil. It made her, it was four beach. God damn it. Okay, it was four. My apologies. Thank you for the correct lens. Okay, it was four. Okay, so supervisor one figured it out. Okay, and let's just say, she wasn't happy, all right? So then <laughs> one early morning shift when Sierra was like, oh, I got to get the hell out of my house and I'm going to work early. I'm going to sit. I'm going to eat me a little brekkie. I'm going to watch me a little show. Back then I was really heavy in the reality shows, okay? I'm going to sit in the lunchroom and I'm I'm, I'm going to watch my little show, eat my little food. Baby, I ain't had no business being there that early. Uh, I really didn't because... When I was in there, minding my business, my black-owned business, eating my little brekkie, these two are in his office arguing. Now, please keep in mind, the cookie joint was a nice size, but the manager's offices, there's... <laughs> it was like manager one's office, TV's office, a random office that multiple people used, and then the brick... But because we were literally the only humans in that building, once again, with the door closed, baby, I was just like, why turn on my phone? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to listen to you two idiots go at it. Okay. All right. So they going back and forth, screaming, cussing, whoop de whoop. It was very much like, if you was going to do that, you could at least fucking told me. I thought we was going to be honest, but you on some shit, blah, 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 blah. Like, give me the shit. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? We not together. You acting like you mine when you for everybody, just like I'm for everybody. Yes, he said that. And I quote. Okay. Let's just say uh, him saying that. Definitely sent her into a tailspin, I think, because she might have pushed some papers, you know, off his desk or things off his desk because I heard shit flying. And y'all know I'm newsy as hell. All right. And this was this. Oh, baby, listen, Livy was one in some change. This was eight years ago. Listen, my head was out. My head was out the fucking break room like. <laughs> OK, like. Listen, all right, so yes, I was just getting to that. It listen, manager one was a smooth listen, be clear. Manager one was a smooth talker. He could talk certain people, gullible people, he could talk you out the clothes off your back. He had the gift of gab with like sauce on it. Like you ever work, you ever work for a company and there's like a token black guy. But you be like, he an Oreo. He's giving Oreo inside out. You know what I mean? Like that was that was manager one. Okay, he will sweet talk his way in the shit he ain't had no business being in. Okay, he had one girl Parno <laughs> in his insurance talking about some he gonna pay her back. Okay, he had another bitch buy his groceries, claiming that he lost his card. And wouldn't be able to get his card for seven to 10 business days because back then certain banks and credit unions did not print your card out right away. Back then, okay? So he claimed he couldn't get one seven and he had no money. She bought his groceries. He had another chick pay. Now, I don't know what supervisor one was paying for because supervisor one had a main job. 
She was a hairstylist. That was her main job. Her career was a hairstylist working at the cookie joint was just extra money and like dick around money. You see what I'm saying? Okay. It was <laughs> Lids. It was believed I was told that he got four women pregnant. One got rid of hers, one lost hers, and the other two he wasn't claiming. So I don't know what happened with that. I left. Well, no, I didn't leave. I was still there, but I never got an outcome. Here's why. One day, manager 1 went on vacation. Y'all get vacation time, okay? Manager one. Man, yeah. Manager one went on vacation. We all got vacation. He went on vacation and never came back. So I never knew if the other two kids was actually his, if he did DNA testing. Now he's from an island. I'm not going to say what island. That's his business. His family is there. Mind his business. He's from an island and he would go back to see his mom or he would go back to bring his mom to the U.S. Like, so he went to the island to see his mom. And, damn it, Liz. I said I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> it's in the chat. You want to know what island, okay? And he went back to see his family and, blah, blah, blah. and baby, he never came back. He came, he, he claimed he went over there, he got sick, he used his sick time, he used the rest of his vacation, he was he was saying things was wrong with his mom, blah, blah, blah. He gave all these excuses for weeks so he could use all of his time and then just never came back. So I don't know if my other two kids is his, baby. I have no clue. I guess inquiry minds will never fucking know. Never know. But yeah, honey. And then, oh, there was a certain point. There was a certain point in time where, okay, so y'all know Lynn said in the chat, she is, she's currently a supervisor. When I was a supervisor, Lynn's wasn't a supervisor, okay? She was always in place to be one, but how they did the supervisor voting was all fuck shit. It was all like popularity contest fuck shit, okay? All right, so, so, she wasn't a soup at the time. She was a lead rep, okay? I was a soup at a time. Let's talk. <laughs> I just want to point out one supervisor. We're going to call him Mr. Patel. Mr. Patel is, he was fine as hell. That was one Fine man. He was a sick man. Not sick like sick. Sick as in his faith. He was fine as hell. He got married to this beautiful woman in Canada. Chef's kiss. Love you, Miss Patel. If you ever see this, we rooting for you, baby. We rooting for you. Okay. Um, TB, you know, you, you ever see this, you know we fucks have you too, TB. For sure. Inez, Inez will never see this shit. But I love you, Inez. Forever. You know that. E money, I talk to you on a regular baby. You know it's nothing but love. Forever. Um, <laughs> Lens, Lens, I didn't know that. <laughs> but what I will say, I didn't know he advanced at you too, Lens. But I will say, he never advanced at me. But one day the supervisors were in his office, you know, doing what supervisors do. Nothing. We were in there absolutely doing nothing, shooting the shit because we didn't want to work that day. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Okay. There's a lot of those days. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we were in his office and we were shooting the shit. Now, E and supervisor one was explaining to me, we were talking about dating relationships, blah, blah, blah. And the subject came why would you let someone cheat on you just because it benefits you in other ways? Like if you're in a relationship with someone and you know they stepping out on you, but you let it go 
because of everything else they do for you. I said, that's some chunk shit and you're getting used. Regardless of you using them, you're also getting used. Why would you want to be used in that way? It's terrible. It feels like shit and garbage. So supervisor one was like, well, if it's double benefit, it's double benefit. I said, that sounds double dumb. She didn't like I said that. She thought I called her dumb. I said, no, what you said is double dumb. I don't agree. Like the fuck? I, okay. So then at that time, that became the fact that I didn't fuck one and she didn't fuck with me. Um, because one, I clicked, I called her lazy to her face. And I said, you don't do shit. You come in late all the time and you get away with it. If I came in late all the fucking time, no one would let me get away with it. I'd be written up so fucking fast. You don't do shit. I called her on her shit. We ain't never fucked with each other to that day. And that's on period. And I don't give a fuck because you a lazy sack of shit. And it just is what it is. I don't give a fuck if you fucking him or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So in that conversation though, she told on herself again because manager one had said something specific like, well, if y'all are in understanding on what the relationship is, there should be no issues because there's no real relationship when you're just a jump off. And, and she goes, oh yeah, a jump off? That's all it is? And I'm like, so they look like they was about to get heated to get it there, but but everyone kept it, kept it real cool. And he was like, you know, cause, and then manager one goes into explaining it. Like for instance, I would never come at CC, not for the fact that CC is married. Now that's a respect thing. But if you take her marriage to side, because some men don't care, right? I would never come at CC. You know why? Cause she's the type of woman that won't put up with that shit. And I said, ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> I'm not that beach. I ain't never been that beach. I ain't never gonna be that beach. Cause I will cuss you clean out, cuss her out, her, her, and her out. Everybody get the smoke. I'm glad you said it. I'm glad you know. That's probably why he never advanced towards me. <laughs> you tried it. Cause baby, I'd have had my husband up here too sweet to tear your ass up. Just for GP. Cause I don't play my mom, but yeah, that's a, oh, there's so many stories at that cookie joint. One day I will tell y'all some of the stories of the customers at the cookie joint. The customers at that cookie joint, some are amazing customers and some are the dumbest people to ever be birthed on this planet. Lens, Lens, you need to go ahead and email in. You need to email the story on that one because I don't remember reps and soups fighting. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the one time the bull got arrested. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen. Listen. Or, 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 Lens. Were you ever told this? That the real reason our district manager got let go wasn't because he found something better, but because he was sleeping with the CEO's wife. Lynn, did you ever hear that? <laughs> and wait a minute, and I'm gonna say his name, Bruce, we love you, Bruce. That was my main man, Bruce. But if you slept with his wife, what the fuck is wrong with you, Bruce? If you slept with that man, why would you do that, Bruce? Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Kendra, it was a call center. Listen. I promise you, he sent flowers and cookies. <laughs> when I tell you the cookie joint, when I tell y'all I could do an entire tea time on just the cookie call center, do you hear me? I mean it. I could go two hours talking about the cookie joint, baby, because when the shit was pop, <sighs> or the, 
Listen, are y'all ready? We had a security office, right? Security office was within the call center that I was head of scheduling at the time, okay? That was my big thing as the supervisor. I took on the scheduling. I love schedules. As y'all know, I'm obsessed with planners. Like, bitch, I'm a schedule type of beach, okay? There's more. I got so many stuff. You know what? Maybe some, oh, shit, just so many. Maybe Wednesday, maybe Wednesday's tea time will be Cookie call center joint stories. Listen, whoo, 580 subs. <gasps> I'm at 580. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't even know that. When I woke up, I was at like 573 or four or some shit. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all the story. Okay, listen, listen. Listen, Liz, if you don't want to email me the stories that you had after I left, just send them to my Instagram DMs. Either way, I'm reading them bitches because I know they good. Listen, so security office was mainly guys, okay? There was like three dudes in there. Well, they finally hired two chicks because you got to remember, some of our cookie stores were open 24 hours. Some of them closed at two and three o'clock in the morning. And when we started going across the coast, the time difference were changed. Right? So you had to have security on the cameras 24 hours. Okay. Okay. So they, they hired two women. Three dudes or four dudes at that time. Four dudes, two chicks. Okay. All right. No. No. Not all right. Okay. One day, TB couldn't get it. Was it TB or manager one? Manager one was gone. There was someone else in manager's one spot, okay? There was a new manager one. Manager one couldn't get a hold of them because a store was reporting to TB about a assault and they need the footage for the popo, right? And it was like, you're supposed to do all this paperwork. You're supposed to call in. You're supposed to call the cops. You're supposed to do a lot of shit when something goes on in the cookie stores, okay? That didn't happen. And nobody could get a hold of security. So it's like, what the fuck is happening over here? So new manager one strolls their ass on up to the call center cookie joint. Oh, not Lynn's that one, but there's another one. Hold on. We, we get into it. Okay. We get into it. Lynn's, Lynn's, it wasn't even tender, Lynn's. It was, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So, <laughs> so <laughs> new manager one shows up. Goes into the security door. Why is the girl getting knocked off by her boyfriend? High as a kite. Also keep in mind, the boyfriend knocking her off did not work for the cookie joint. So she let an outsider in to the cookie joint then let him into our security room in the cookie jar. Let's just say she got fired expeditiously. <laughs> and the, wait, the story Liz is talking about, a supervisor got caught. It wasn't just Tinder. Be oh, God. He got caught on Tinder after he realized his girl was on Tinder. But what we also found after pulling the information from the computer, because you got to have paperwork, you got to track all this stuff. You got to have paperwork when you fire people in Pennsylvania, okay? It's an at-will state, but if you don't want people to get unemployment, you got to have your paper trail. You got to have your write-ups. You got to have your examples. You got to have your reference. You, you got to have the paperwork so people ain't getting you on unemployment. Homeboy was looking up Tinder and things, but he was also on. He was on explicit sites looking. I don't even know how to say it. Please, YouTube, don't cover me. <laughs> looking at trade. Looking at trans and hetero men sexual activities. <laughs> Bruh, the fact, <laughs> the 
the fact that we had to like literally print out the websites. We had to print out like screenshots of the websites with the timestamps for unemployment. <laughs> Listen, only the tip of the iceberg. Do you hear what I'm saying? Like, the, listen, this is what we're going to do. Wednesday, I'm going to change the title of tea. It's going to say Tea Time with the Professor Cookie Joint Edition. Or I'm just going to put Cookie Edition. That's what we're going to change that to, the Cookie Edition. Who gave it... <laughs> Oh, shit. When I tell y'all, like, <laughs> because you got to remember, we have to do a login. Any com You can sit at any computer in the cookie joint, but you have to log in, and that tracks everything you're doing, your websites, your clicking, how fast you're on a call, off a call. Like, every phone call is recorded. Like, ev everything you did in that freaking cookie joint could be tracked down one way or another, unless you were logged under someone else. But if they aren't there, we, oh, also the cookie joint had cameras. There were cameras everywhere <laughs> to be like, well, someone was using my whatever. Okay, it was that computer, where's that camera? They're right, so-and-so is using their login. Like, it's easy to track, you see what I'm saying? So the fact that like he thought he would get, like, When I tell you the cookie joint was slam dunking, you see, it was thick. Listen, I think Lynn's got hired a year after me. Lynn, did you come a year after me or two years after me? Yup. Lynn, was it one year after me or two years? 15. I started working the cookie joint in 13. It was two years. No, 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 no. Same year. Same year. Me and Liz got, got hired the same year. I think it was just months before her. Same year. Because Livy was born in 14. Livy was already born. She was like a year and some change. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We both got hired in 2015. Baby. When I tell y'all the cookie joint... It was the wild, wild west. I'm telling you, but it was, it was, it was, it was uh, entertaining. It was entertaining. Yeah, yeah. I, listen, next week is going to be all about the cookie joint. I'm going to gather up all the stories. Lens is going to send me some after I left because I left the cookie joint in... Listen, look, for all of y'all new, new to my YouTube, okay, for all of y'all who just come here for tea time and y'all don't ever watch any of my videos, if you go far enough back in my videos, you'll see the cookie joint. You'll see some of the managers of the cookie joint. If you go far enough back in my videos, you will, if you ever see me wearing headphones, in the in the in the the thumbnail, or you see me laying down on a desk, anything like that, I'm at the cookie joint. I'm at the cookie joint. Ah, listen, no, no, I'll be back. You gotta go back now. I've had this channel since 2016. You gonna have to go back. You gonna have to go back. But there is plenty. Look. I'm not going to tell you who's who. I'm not going to tell you who's who. But you see a few of the managers. You see a few. <laughs> in my Because you got to remember back then, back then, although YouTube was popular, everyone around me in the cookie joint, ain't none of them do YouTube. They would watch YouTube, but none of them was actively on YouTube. 
I was. So I, when it was slow or I was bored, I would film in the cookie joint. And they would just be like, hey, like they would be. <laughs> Can we, okay, we're going to play the game. Now I, now I feel like I got to go back and watch these fucking videos. I do remember there's a manager I didn't speak about that's in there. Somebody spot Inez. See if you can figure out who Inez is. See if you can figure out who E is. K. And manager one. He's somewhere in there. He's somewhere in there. Actually, is Mr. Patel in one too? I think Mr. Patel might be in one. Like, hey, y'all. And like... <laughs> Shut up, Lens. You can't play the game. <laughs> You're the only one that can't play the game. Anyone who worked at the cookie joint with me can't play the game. But everybody else, good luck hunting. And no, I'm not going to tell you which part and which video. Enjoy my old videos of when I was a new mom and somewhat skinnier in them old school ass hairstyles and like me just talking shit on YouTube. <laughs> Good luck. There's some good giggles in there. There's some good, there's some good fucking giggles in there. Cause when I'm telling y'all, when we was bored at the cookie joint, baby, we'd be making up songs and shit. Like, good luck. It's a scavenger hunt. Here we go. Who's gonna be first to find? Listen, listen, listen. We doing an official scavenger hunt on YouTube. Here we go. Here we go. I'm writing it down. What y'all have to find? Are you ready? Because I remember specific things about my old videos. Are you ready? Manager one. And it is a guy. Okay? E. I used to call her E Money. I still call her E Money. See if you can find her. Inez. See if you can find her. I'm going to give this name just because it's a scavenger hunt. S Kayla. See if you can find Kayla. If you happen to find the clip of Yosemite, I'm curious if y'all can find it because it's a quick snippet. <laughs> if you find Inez, what? Oh, how can I, how can I word it? Oh, because this is a good one. If you find Inez, what item is she making a story about? That's all I'm gonna give you for right now. Remember, I started this channel in 2016. I started working for the cookie joint in 2015. All of this is in those past videos somewhere. Oh, I think I gave that away, but <laughs> we'll give you one. It'll take you forever to find it. Good luck watching my old videos, kids. Uh, make sure you watch it all the way through. Okay. Also, my last video, my vlog that I posted yesterday, watch to the end. No one has told me what the end of the damn, what is at the end of the video because no one's watched it to the end. I put in the comments and I pinned it. What's at the end of the video? Who's And don't cheat. Don't scroll all the way to the end to see what it is. Little cheater, cheater, pumpkin eaters. Watch the damn thing all the way through to the end. Oh, that's what that was for? Shenanigans. But yeah, scavenger hunt puffs. Scavenger hunt. I'm going to type it in the community post so everybody can figure it out. You're looking for manager one, E-Money, Inez, and what Inez made a story about, Kayla and Yosemite. Good wool hunting, kids. Good wool hunting. It's a good time. I hope y'all enjoy. Listen, if you think you found what you think you found, timestamp it. Put it in the comments of this, of this, of this live. What episode is this? Do we even know anymore? <laughs> what episode are we on? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What episode are we in? Good will get hunting, kids. What episode are we in? Uh, where I gotta go? Content. Live 17. You must timestamp where and what, and either you got to timestamp and give me the title of the YouTube 
or where you think you found the person. And I will honestly answer you yes or no if you found it. Let's see. Oh, how about this? I got one better for y'all. We'll make it even better. Whoever figures all of them out gets the very first left, right, good night backpack by Olivia. Because <laughs> I could just get another one for the next one. I can't, for the, we're going to steal Jeanette's term, the waffle. Whoever can find them, timestamp in the name of the video. You get the very first left, right, good night backpack by Olivia. It'll be our first official YouTube waffle. <laughs> I got to go. I want <laughs> Good hunting, kids. I will post all of this in the community. I love you guys. Y'all freaking have fun. Make sure you like and share this with your friends in case other people want to be a part of the scavenger hunt. Don't just keep it for yourselves, stidgies. <laughs> I love y'all so much. I will see y'all for a uh, cookie tea time. On Wednesday, poos. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me order another one of these, but that this gonna be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be a good time. Look, let me write look scavenger video hunt. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Have an amazing Sunday or Monday if you're in another country. I love your faces. Peace. <laughs>